I want to tell you a story about believing in yourself. I'm going to use the story of Chuck Wepner. You may have never heard of him, uh, but he was a boxer. And uh, Don King had actually scheduled him to fight George Foreman. But as it would happen, Muhammad Ali would fight George Foreman and beat George Foreman. So Chuck Wepner actually found himself at one point scheduled to fight the greatest of all time, Muhammad Ali. And as it would happen, Chuck Wepner, he was, he was unknown. He was, his nickname was the Bayonne Bleeder. <laughs> he was what the boxing community referred to as a catcher. He would catch punches with his face, uh, which doesn't bode very well if you're a boxer. But so as it would happen, he was scheduled to fight George Foreman, but George Foreman would lose to Muhammad Ali. So Chuck found himself to fight for the championship of the world against Muhammad Ali. So this was incredible. This unknown, virtually unknown boxer had a chance to become world champion. And as the fight went on, it actually looked in the ninth round like Chuck Wepner was going to win this fight. He had knocked Muhammad Ali to the ground and, and was actually doing very well. People couldn't believe it. And um, he made it all the way through the fight right up into the very end with only 19 seconds left and Muhammad Ali scored a technical knockout over Chuck Wepner, over the Bayonne Bleeder. But it was incredible. People couldn't even believe that this guy who was not ranked, hardly unknown, uh, would be able to stand up against the greatest of all time and actually make a great showing and actually knock him down. Well, that wasn't the end of the story right there because there was a struggling actor and movie writer who was watching that fight that night and he went into his room and he wrote a movie script that almost all of us have seen and known by now uh, it was Sylvester Stallone he got inspired by that fight and he wrote the story Rocky he wrote it in about three days he presented it to some Hollywood producers and they liked the script and uh, they offered him four, they offered Sylvester Stallone $400,000. Now, Sylvester Stallone was unknown. He had never done anything in Hollywood. And, uh, but he turned them down. He said, no, you know what? Unless I can uh, get credit for writing it, producing it, and I want to star in it. And so he made an agreement to be the star. He, he played Chuck Wepner, the Bayonne Bleeder, changed the name to to uh, 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 Rocky uh, in the movie, of course, but he played that part. Now that's not where the story ends either. Sylvester Stallone believed in himself. He said, no, I'm not gonna take your $400,000, which isn't bad for three days of work. Like he wrote, he was inspired. He wrote that script in about three days. Now Hollywood is offering him 400,000, man. Probably if it was me or you, we might have taken it. Sylvester Stallone believed in himself. He had a bigger dream than that. And so he said, you know what? Pay me minimum wage and just $20,000, but give me the rights to the script and the royalties and such for uh, being the lead actor. They agreed. Now, the movie studio also had to go to Chuck Wepner because this was a story about his life. They offered him a percentage of the movie. He could have taken that, or he could have taken $70,000. Well, Chuck Wepner took the $70,000. We know the end of the story, as Paul Harvey would say. The end of the story was, guess what? If Chuck Wepner would have believed in himself, believed in this script, believed he could have, he missed out on $8 million if he would have taken the percentage and, and, and believed in something bigger, had, had a vision for something that wasn't instant, but it was futuristic. And, uh, but Sylvester Stallone now, I mean, come on, 
We all know what happened there. He believed in himself and he played the long game. And of course, he went on to be famous, make millions and millions and millions of dollars. I don't know how many Rocky movies they've produced, probably Rocky 10. He's probably, he probably wrote and was involved in the Creed movies that came out and everything after that. But I just want to tell you, you know, believe in yourself, own it. There's something inside of you. There's a dream, there's an ability, there's a gift, there's a talent, there's something that you've always wanted to do. You know what? Believe in yourself enough to start. Do it. Don't sell yourself short. Own it. Own what God has put inside of you. It is treasure. It is valuable. The Bible says we have this treasure in our earthen vessel. Believe that you're worth it. Believe, don't sell yourself short. Do not sell yourself short. Believe in yourself. There's no limit to what may come of it. Just take a risk, take a leap of faith. Take a leap of faith in yourself. You've got something special inside of you. You can do it. You can do great things. You were created for great things. So believe in yourself. You know what? Good things, big things can happen.